welcome back to Kids Lee News. Today, we are going to be talking about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is celebrated every year on November 11th. And of course, this year it's going to be celebrated on November 11th, 2017. But did you know that it was originally called Armistice Day? Yes, it was called that back in 1919. Yes, that sounds like a very long time ago. But it started, the first anniversary of Veterans Day was at the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance. But it wasn't until 1936 when people started celebrating it as a national holiday. Unlike Memorial Day, Veterans Day pays tributes to American veterans alive and dead, but especially the ones that are alive and served during the war or during peacetime. Did you know that in 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower was the one who changed Armistice Day to Veterans Day? I bet you didn't know that. In 1968, Uniform Holidays Bill was passed by Congress, which moved the day to the fourth Monday of October. But of course, President George Ford moved it back to November 11th. Here are some facts about the veteran population in the United States. Did you know that 2 million veterans are women? Did you know that 7 million veterans served in Vietnam War? Did you know that 5.5 veterans served in the Persian Gulf War? Of the 16 million people who served in America during World War I, only 558,000 are still alive today. As of 2014, three states have more than 1 million veterans living amongst them. California, 1.8 million. Florida, 1.6 million. And Texas, 1.7 million. Did you know that Canada has Remembrance Day, while Britain has Remembrance Sunday, which is on the second Sunday of November? Don't forget that Veterans Day and Memorial Day are two different things. Well, let's keep on watching that video and let's see what's up. Hello and welcome back to Kidley News. Today we are at the Airborne Museum in Fayetteville. And right now they're having a Veterans Memorial Parade. Well, they just finished the parade and now they're having an event here. And now you can hear that they're playing some music, which sounds really good. And so, uh, what we, and the first time they had a, a real training was uh, in the next April, uh, April of uh, 1637. And so, what we do every year, we work with the National Guard. We, do, we call the first muster, Second Corps Cadets. We works with it. Right after the colonies here became states, um, there were problems with the American Indians um, in what they said was our West. Well, the West at that time was about the Mississippi River, so it wasn't very far west. So George Washington, who was our president at the time, said, we don't have a very big standing army, the regular army, so we need to form, we're asking all the states to form militias. All right. So they formed these militia units to, if the, if the regular army couldn't handle it, they'd bring in more militia. Well, so in Fayetteville, they formed several militia units. The only one that still exists is the Fayetteville Independent Light Infantry. So we are, we have been continuous since 1793. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you enjoy your Veterans Day, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button down below. And don't forget to write any comments down below of what video we should make next. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!